Hello and welcome back, it's the Clay Golem, we're back in Foundry VTT and we're looking at an add-on module, part two. So we're still looking at Simple Quest by Ripper here, because um, there's a few extra functions that didn't get covered in the previous video, so I just wanted to make sure we go over those, a bit more detail. Um, Ripper's given me a few pointers, it's like, did you realise it can do this, it can do that? Uh, and there's a couple of bits, it's like, yeah, I did realise, I just didn't show it. Um, and there was a couple of bits where I went, ooh, <laughs> didn't know that. So, um, yeah, he's on my case. <laughs> like Daddy Ripper's <laughs> on my case. No, it's good. It's really good. Um, so one of the things I didn't show, of course, is I showed the fact that we could put Fog of War on these maps. I didn't show you how to get rid of it, did I? So um, when I'm on any of my maps, so I'm in this map section here, I'm on the Storm Wreck Isle, uh, and using this cloud button up here, I can just set that Fog of War. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch the video before this. It's literally out a couple of hours before this one um, that will show you what I'm talking about and is a much better introduction. This is a bit more detailed, this one. So I've got my Fog of War on, so the players can't see any of this, uh, even if I can zoom in and out. If I want to get rid of that Fog of War, if I hold down Shift, my cursor changes to a circle. I can use my mouse wheel to go in and out to change the size of that circle and then holding down the right mouse button I can remove the fog of war wherever I want. So of course depending on how big that area is I can reveal the whole of oops still got it on there um, I can reveal that whole area of the map down this side of the island go okay, yep you've seen all of that lovely Okay, so yeah, Fog of War on, and then of course we can take it off just by holding down that Shift key and using our cursor and put it back on again if I want to. So nice and easy, we can do that. Let go of Shift and it will stop revealing the island, or whatever it might be. We can, on the fly, just change the size of that if we want to and bring that down. Whatever's going to be right for you. There we go. Uh, and if I make any mistakes, I can just, with the left button still holding that shift down, I can draw that fog back in. You know, so if I want them to only see a certain distance out from the island, you know, they don't know what's out in the sea, I can just put that back in like that. Nice and easy. So really intuitive, really easy to use, etc. So that was part one. That was part one of, I, didn't, I forgot to show you that bit. Um, the next bit that I didn't show you, which again I, I knew about, but I just forgot to show you. Bottom right hand corner, all the way over here, hidden down here, we've got some letters. If I click on A, it's going to make my size of my interface change. So I can customize that and make that bigger or smaller just by clicking on the small A or the big A to change that font size. Really easy, really accessible and of course your players can do that too. Next to that there is a palette. If I click on that, that's going to bring up the themes. So I've just got with the default theme and that's what I was showing in the previous video, but I can change that to any of these that I like. Typewriter theme bit better for kind of a perhaps a murder mystery adventure or something like that murder she wrote for those of you old enough to remember Jessica Fletcher uh, cyberpunk yeah we got this one a future tech uh, the D&D &D one is that, I find that little plane myself I quite like the default one galactic adventure but we've got all of these different ones we can choose use whatever the heck you want of course um, and I mean, all this, all this is, is CSS. So this is all, uh, this is all changeable anyway for those of you who are clever enough. But to be honest, there's so, there's so many options. Um, I'm not sure why you would need to change it. Find one you like and stick with that, because they're good, aren't they? It's beautiful, Mystic Forest. You know, I mean, that might be a bit too green for you. It depends, and of course, you can change it on the fly as you go if you want to. You know, as they move from different areas. You know, they're in a frosty, icy place. You use White Dragon. Um, they move to the, you know, to the gaseous swamps and change it to horrible green. Whatever you want to do, you can move that around. So that's really nice. Really, really easy. Okay, so there's two things I missed off in the last one. Um, going back to journal, and I've updated this journal page. Because uh, here's a few things that I hadn't kind of realised. They're all in the wiki. I just didn't read the whole wiki. 
So this is my um, my journal with Johnny Longlegs, but you can see I've got a couple of other things on here um, that just it, it give us extra functionality. So this, I happen to call it Villager's Happiness, but I've got a bar here that gives me a score out of 10. If I click on this bar, it's going to track that the villagers are getting happier and happier, and if I right-click, it will come down again. And I can set this bar to be as many blocks as I want. Um, I've actually got mine, so it will go negative as well. You know, so what's my what's my reputation with this village? How are they? Every time I do something good, it gets a point or two in the positive. Every time we do something bad, it goes negative. And you might choose to link that to shop prices, to people's willingness to cooperate, to uh, you know how much the local guards are chasing them down, how much effort they're putting in. However, you want to do it. And you can use it for anything, you know, um, any kind of reputation. It might be when it hits a certain point, that's when the bad guy attacks or that's when the good guys withdraw their funding, um, supporting the party or whatever it may be. The, the church comes after them uh, or the church provides them with the additional services that it only keeps for special people, such as like, well, if you have a reputation of seven or above, resurrection becomes an option for you or you get a discounted rate on your you know on your healing spells whatever it might be so that's really nice i'll show you how to use that in a moment um we've got another counter down here so it's a similar kind of idea but it literally is a counter that counts up every time i click on it left click it puts the number up so yes i can track how many times this session the players have pissed me off i can keep putting that up until it hits i don't know 10 might be a random monster off of my i'm pretty grumpy table and it might be 20 it's like right that's it i shut down foundry and off i go you know rage quitting the game you know <laughs> whatever it might be uh, and it might go down a point every time they say something nice about my game and it might go up every time they do something stupid but again you can use it to track anything you like so you could use that for reputation instead of a, this bar just different ways of doing it really nice but again we can set what those numbers are and a, once again i will show you how to do that now another thing is, is these call outs so first of all when we're doing any journal stuff and we did this before like oh a good couple of months ago now when we looked at the journals in general was the fact that you can drag items actors and things like that into the journal and it creates these links so i've dragged in nundro rock seeker into the journal and now i've got a link directly to him i dragged in this item uh hugh the battle axe if you remember a number of videos ago we made that with build a bonus um, I can drag that in and they appear here. But I can also, apart from just putting these links in to these items, these actors and things, is I can highlight them like this using these callouts. And again, I'll show you how to do all of these things in just a moment. They're all on the same page. I did that uh, purposely so that I could show you. And at the bottom here, I've got a couple of other links because not only can we link to other actors and items, we can link to other journal entries within our quest log here. So I can click on Pizza for Luigi and it's going to take me straight directly to this quest. So I can indeed, under my journal, have links to the player party journal. Uh, it could be on the map or whatever it, I want to do is I can add those links in that will take them directly to a particular area so directly to this quest um, which currently is hidden from the players lovely all right so uh, let's have a look at this journal and edit it so you can see how we create these different things um, and you can use as many as you want however you want whatever's going to work for you of course I'm just showing you so the writing is quite small on here Hang on, let me put that in the middle of the screen, make that a bit easier for me to zoom in afterwards. So as you can see, I've just got my general text in here that I had before. This is my meter that you can click into those boxes. So as you can see, it is a, uh, so this is a function of Ripper's module. This is not part of the normal journal stuff. But anything where you put at reputation and then in square brackets, we give it the name that we want to use to count. And then we can give it the numbers we want it to count between. Now, I can, I've got minus 10, comma 10 to show it can go down as far as minus 10, up to 10. 
you don't need to do that you can just have 10 so it'll go from 0 to 10 okay that's just I was playing doing something you know it's not exactly more complex is it but just something to show you that actually it could be a reputation that is positive or negative I can do that either way that's it it's that line there I mean you know I can do it you can do it right <laughs> really simple um, but what about the counter so the, the basically the numbered version of that so again this is specific to what Rip has built in the background for us times players have pissed me off and I've got apologies for that um, this one here just says at count open bracket for and give it the name that I want to call this counter and then how much does it count up to it so it counts from 0 up to 20 but I can change that to 75 I can change it to you know to 10 whatever I want it to be so really really flexible um, you can use it for all sorts of things like that all right good hope you're keeping up um, really really easy to use effective but really really simple to use and again we've said this before this is what we find with Ripper stuff is it tends to be really powerful in the background but actually it's really simple to use for the basic functions that we might want uh, now for these this is where I've got my Nundro character here so you can see it's an at UUID with an actor and a link to Nundro there that's the normal um, that's the normal journal stuff that you get um, just in the game engine without any mods and stuff like that. But what we can do with any of these words that we want to, uh, in fact, let's do it with uh, neutral to the party generally. If we go to paragraph at the top here and we go to call out, you can see there's a number of built in ones here that we can say, oh, well, we can select law, for example, and that is going to put that into this call out little little stack of books at the front to show its law uh, and just formats that in a way that makes it stand out to us um, so I happen to use uh, I think it was a spell one for Nundro um, and an item one for uh, for the battle axe I think but you can use them as much as you want or as little as you want um, you know uh, item there we go it's now an item location whatever we might want to do so again you know for these ones down here which is just that normal link to a journal entry for the pizza because it is in fact a quest uh, we could come in and say well let's link that to uh, to this event there it's a global event or something like that so really really simple to use nice and easy not too complicated you haven't got it we're not even in the HTML editor all right we're just <laughs> we're just doing all of this stuff right in here all right so cool huh I mean I, I particularly you know it just looks so nice what we haven't done is look at what our options are for our settings so we're going to configure settings here's my simple quest um, and there's a bunch of stuff here so first of all folder names we've got quests law maps timeline party shared we can change what we're calling these yeah um, so just these are the folder names that we've got that appear down the side here yeah so we can change those if we want to as we need to etc so we've got you know quests we've got party we've got shared uh, etc so we can absolutely just change those if we want to change the theme of them just so that they're a bit different we can change the colors of things you know if it's secret if it's hidden if we failed a quest it goes red um, if you know the text color we can change all of those things if we want to there's things down here for matching our journal style please be aware that there is if enabled an attempt to match can have side effects so just be aware that a couple of these are potentially unexpected results but we can hide things from the players we can use chat message themes of whether to use a custom theme for the simple quest chat messages or not show the quest notifications we saw that in the previous video and actually we've got some sounds here so I've put in a wolf howl sound for when the update quest sound effect so it's played whenever the quest is sorry the sound effect to play when a quest update notification happens so if we go into our quests we should be able to 
if I'm on here, um, one of them we're going to be able to sign off completely and it's, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it, but that might be because my volume is down quite low. Um, but the idea is, of course, that you can make any of those adjustments that you want to those things. You know, wolf howl is not the right thing, but, you know, a ping noise, a ding, a, a telephone ringing, whatever it might be that you want to use. Yet yeah, have a play with that. You can absolutely do any of those things that you want to with changing those sound effects. Here we go. You can disable the quests tab. You can disable the party journal if you want, or my journal, uh, or maps, or the law, or the timelines. You can just turn those off so they're not in your way, which is really, really good. And of course, there's a few things you can do with changing the fonts um, within that. So you can change the header font up the top here, as well as the family font um, for the normal text and stuff. So if we, we change that to let's change that to a couple of hideous things you can see boom there we go it's changed so that's certainly not what I would use for D&D &D. <laughs> but it may well work for whatever you're doing with it which would be different of course I assume it would be different if you were changing those I'm going to change that back to default uh, I think that was on Arial uh, whatever that's fine okay so at the top here see that we've got some theme configurations as well so when we come into here, if we pick on Galactic Adventure, um, this enables us to make some changes to the themes and things if we want to. So this is configure theme. If we want to do it, we can change it right from here, which is lovely. But we've also got configure tab names up here to change these ones at the top. So uh, I just change map to say maps. There we go, maps really easy thing to be able to do so um i think that was all the things i missed before um and the little extras so really important things are the fact that we've got a theme that we can change the fact that we can easily remove or actually i hadn't realized add fog of war but we can easily remove and add fog of war just by add holding down that shift key uh, and in the journal not only have we got the normal journal functions of linking and stuff like that but we've got these call outs which just yeah nice and highlights those areas for us but these wonderful little trackers these options that we can have in here if you wanted to use them that was interesting so what happens if i yeah so if i go up to 10 i go beyond it it goes back to zero it said 12 a moment ago because i had it on 12 when i had it at 20. Um, and if we fill this right up you can see that once it gets to the end it goes resets itself back to zero and I suspect it does if we go the other way as well brilliant it doesn't have any hideous overflow and crash the game or anything like that not that I would expect that <laughs> but you never know so really nice a few extra amendments that might kind of convince you that this is even more powerful than you thought it was or at least even prettier than you originally thought it was really nice um, additions for it I think this is going in my list of um, whenever I start a new campaign this is going to be one of the first mods I install because I'm going to create mine based on this with all my maps in all my journal entries I think it's a it's a little bit more challenging to convert it afterwards not that I've tried and make sure it all lines up and everything is perfect so I'm not going to do it with Curse of Strahd I've got my landing page for that but I think in other adventures, I might skip the landing page and just use this. Because everything I've kind of got in my landing page, I've got my map, I've got my party journal, um, I've got my lore in there. Um, I've, you know, they're going to track their own quests. I can do it all in here. And it's kind of already structured for me. So um, we'll see. We'll see. We've got to finish Curse of Strahd yet. Yeah? That's going to take quite some time. It's, <laughs> it's a big job, isn't it? But anyway, I hope that's been helpful, um, sort of seeing the uh, the other bits of that. Um, and uh, I hope Daddy Ripper is uh, is pleased that I covered those other bits that I missed. <laughs> but thank you guys, appreciate you watching, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Yeah, just before I go, sorry, I knew <laughs> nearly out of here. Uh, one last thing I forgot. Right, you know these... Uh, give it a go, Hayley. These things. 
okay these enhancements that we've got to our journal right whether they are these um these uh, these call outs the counting the reputation things one thing i did forget to remember i forgot to mention Be they're not just for journals i mean obviously this is the place to use them isn't it yeah so we're going to use that and we're going to have our our counter in here um, and we can have that in our journal but because it's not a function of journals only all right because it sits separate from those because it's part of this mod you can put it in other places so if I open up Haley, it sounds so naughty, um, I can edit her character sheet and look in her biography, I can paste those in here. Um, uh, if I click save and then take off edit, look, they work in here as well. So really important that I mention that you might this might not be anything you want to do, but you want a rage meter, you know, how angry is Haley <laughs> before she turns green and goes smash. Um, you can put that on here so you can have reputation for individual people actually on that actor sheets you could use this as a sanity meter um anything you like i mean you know obviously fatigue is a thing in dnd you could have a small one and use this as a fatigue meter or whatever you want to do you could put them in here okay so those those absolutely work so really important just wanted to make sure you realize that anywhere that you can add a um add a description so if I can go into my rations here, and if I edit my description for my rations, I can stick in a counter, uh, save, didn't want to do that, save, <laughs> and look, I've got counter in here, there it is, lovely jubbly, so uh, yeah, just wanted to make sure I add that on for you, just so that you know that is also a thing, right, that's it, I promise, that's it, that's it, it's everything, I'm sure, bye.